I posted this in r slash backwoods creepy and was told I may have more success over here. Here is my story. I was tree planting near Smithers, British Columbia, about an hour and a half into the mountains on dirt roads. I tried my best to just forget this incident even occurred as I simply could not find a way to rationalize what happened. It was almost midnight and I was trying to sleep in my tent. My tent was near a bunch of standing dead trees that would creak when the wind picked up. A very loud and distinct sound. Now on this particular night it was dead silent and still. I started to hear sticks cracking and steps being taken that slowly got closer over the course of about 15 minutes. It was loud enough I was certain there was a bear approaching my tent. It got so close that it had to be no further than 15 feet from my tent. Cracking sticks and padding around the forest floor. I decided to yell out very loudly. Silence. No sound of the creature fleeing or doing anything at all. I sat in silence too scared to move, trying to rationalize to no conclusion. About 20 minutes of dead silence later, I heard the eeriest, unnatural, and unexplainable noise. It was the exact same timber and volume, and just basically the same sound as the trees outside creaking. But instead of being a regular creak, it began, and then held the exact same note of creak for a full five seconds, or even longer. It was like an unnatural drone that was obviously not a tree creaking. There was not a hint of wind or any other trees creaking as per per usual. I got barely any sleep and the next day was tough and I just had to forget about it. I didn't ever make the connection that skinwalkers are known to imitate sounds like that until a few weeks ago. This happened in July 2022. If anyone has had a similar experience or has any ideas of what this could have been, I'd love to hear. Here are some of the comments from this post. Gray Mares in Space commented, Check out Hammerson Peters on YouTube. He is actually a really great writer. First and foremost, he researches Canadian lore, Bigfoot, cryptids. But he has a few good episodes on some California crawler stories. His books, Mysteries of Canada, Volume 1 and 2 were impressive. He has some good stuff. Weirdly, these things are seen more often in Canada. You would think they would be cold. OP responded to Gray Mares in Space. Exactly the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Thanks a lot. And let me tell you, it was far from cold in July. If anything, I would have assumed the swarms of mosquitoes would keep the crawlers at bay. Gray Mares in Space responded to OP. Yeah, definitely check out Hammerson. They are also seen in Nova Scotia. It's weird from what I know, the earliest accounts I have found are Canadian. The tough thing is that whatever these things are, there are a wide variety of names. And there is also more of a history of these in some Eastern Euro nations too. But the names are all different. The description is the same. If you trawl YouTube, you will find a ton of the crap is just that fake crap. But there are a few actual eyewitness interviews here and there. If you want links, hit me up. I have a few I can send. The little angel also commented. Damn, that's pretty terrifying no matter what it might have been. It trying to mimic the tree noises is chilling. Unwanted docking tape chimed in. My family used to have a cabin on Francois Lake, not too far from Smithers, and those woods are so dense and vast that it's completely possible that anything can hide there. Mad Snapper official asked. You guys have skinwalkers in British Columbia. I thought they only exist in the Navajo territories. Joga Masta responded to Mad Snapper official. Skinwalkers aren't crawlers, I think. Crawlers are like the rake or something. Accelerator365 responded to Jogamasta. Yes, what gets described as crawlers and what gets misidentified as skinwalkers are generally two different things. Crawlers are essentially the monsters from the descent. They appear to be generally humanoid, but a little disproportionate to crawl on all fours better. There's generally scary and make creepy noises, but seem to be more skittish than aggressive. Skinwalkers, which is a term that is heavily overused for all the wrong types of things, are not Navajo black magic users essentially. 99.9% .9 of the stories you hear where someone thinks they saw a skinwalker, they didn't see one. The creepy pale humanoid with disproportionate limbs, vocal mimicry, sometimes deer's head, super aggressive, etc, etc is something completely different. It's closer to what a Wendigo is supposed to be, but that's also not right. So I think people are starting to call them and the creatures identified as Wendigo, but also wrong 
Wong, Wechuge, or another term I can't remember. Because while people generally acknowledge that when you say skinwalker, you mean that kind of thing, and not a Navajo shapeshifter, it gets confusing and hampers discussion. Accelerator 3 to 6 5 also supplied. So I'm inclined to believe that what you encountered here may have just been a regular crawler and not the skinwalker pale demon type of entity, assuming not a mundane animal. Crawlers tend to be more curious than anything, it seems like. So it sounds like it was investigating your tent, and then you scared it by yelling, so it essentially yelled back. Of course, not having physically seen it, it's impossible to know what it actually was. It could have just been a normal animal, though. Look up animals in your area and what noises they make. I wouldn't be surprised if it was just a porcupine or some shit. Some animals make weird as F noises. Young OK inquired. Have you thought about it being a Bigfoot? I know it's goofy sounding, but I assure you that Bigfoot are real.